All right, so the past couple of weeks I've been really quite busy and it's been at the cost of creating YouTube videos, which is something I wanted to solve. So in this video, we'll be checking out a system that I put together, which I'm fairly sure every content creator would jump on if they knew it existed. So perhaps you're experiencing this issue of wanting to create higher quality content at a faster pace, but the biggest hurdle is shooting either B-roll without any assistance or the setup time for talking headshot is too long. Now this was the case for me up until I started optimizing my studio. So in this video, I'd like to show you my solution to the issue. And if you liked the video at any point, I'd really love to get this to as many content creators as possible, as I'm fairly certain this would reduce the resistance to their content creation, allowing them to create either more or a higher quality. So a like or a comment would really help in that regard. The system I put together here allows you to go from ultra low to pretty much ceiling height in a couple of seconds, add movement to your shot if that's something you're looking for, and it rolls around so figuring out new angles is really quick and easy. It's really brought your joy back into creating content for me, as there's really no hassle of setting up that camera, right? So I can focus my efforts on lighting, but perhaps most importantly, focus my efforts on creating the things that I'd like to create. So one of the things that I'd like to develop further in is getting back into the process of showcasing things that I build. And I really think this is where something like this can shine. People who create content about DIY projects, perhaps in a garage or a workshop where you're capturing a lot of different angles from different machinery in a cinematic way while also doing time lapses at the same time. Now, I think it started out with Caleb from DSLR Video Shooter. But ended up with a lot of creators creating similar stands, and most of these solved the talking headshot problem. But my issue isn't in fact the talking headshot that's been taken care of by this desk setup which also rolls around. I showed this off last week, you can definitely check it out if you're interested in that. My problem is in fact b-roll. This is something quite psychological, but I see a lot of my videos from the past where there's b-roll without any subject in frame, and this can result in a video feeling kind of cold or not as engaging as it could be. So I started scouring the internet to try and find a solution to this issue. And for a time, I thought I'd found that solution with the small rig freeblazer tripod alongside my trusty old Edocoin slider. Sadly, this didn't quite do the trick. You still have to unlatch three of the columns just to adjust the height, making it incredibly difficult to find a perfect angle. Now it works for my corporate work, but it doesn't quite function for my YouTube channel. So interestingly enough, I came across this pistol grip system from Godox. And at first I was kind of skeptical, I wasn't sure if it would be able to hold up the weight of my camera alongside my slider. But I thought in a worst case scenario I'll just use it with a ball head to capture stationary shots. To my surprise, this thing is quite solid. Full metal construction with nice wheels, pistol grips have no issue holding up heavy setups, and so I decided to create the ultimate b-ball stand. This of course means we also need audio, it's one of those things that has the biggest impact on your video quality. And for that, I purchased another grip, which did cost me a decent amount, but I thought for the quality, it would be worth it. On that, mounted the Rode PSA1. To make that happen, we do need to 3D print this little insert, but you could always just clamp it on with the original mount. At the end of this is my new favorite microphone. It's the Tascam PortCapture X6. It has internal 32-bit flow recording, so if something ever does peak in your recordings, it's pretty easy to pull down the levels in post. Now, normally, I don't really bother with this, as it has a cable running directly into the camera, which enhances that speed even further. Now to be honest here, this could be upgraded in the future, as it's pretty annoying having to turn this thing on every time you want to record something. A microphone that's powered off the camera would be perfect here. Now that cable goes through the center column and drops down to the camera system. Now, after purchasing this stand from Godox, I did buy two other ones from a different brand called Ambitful. They were about 60 euros cheaper at the time and had an extra pistol grip included. The build quality on these is incredibly good, pretty much identical to the Godox system. The downside is that they don't come with this nifty little plate, which the Godox includes, and that's truly a must if you want to mount a slider as it keeps the slider from slanting side to side as it supports it more. Yeah, with the Ambit 4 you have the added benefit of a column system, allowing you to determine the maximum height. And this is nicely thought through, as when you remove one of the four columns, it's able to clear any doorways that you might encounter. The links for both these stands will be in the description down below, but I recommend watching to the end as this is where I'll go over the two options that I built and which one works best. There was one major issue for me, and that's the size of the original base. It's a bit too large for small studios or apartments. So I ordered a smaller stand from Newer, which has a tighter wheelbase, 
yet the mounting points are the same. So here's where we kind of split off into two different directions. On the one hand we have this ultra low profile version and to build that you'd buy the newer light stand alongside this 2 meter pole with a 35mm diameter. These only cost around 15 euros and then replace the center column system with that. Buying the Godox grip separately and using the original tiny newer light stand pole to mount your audio solution. Now this stand won't support the slider. I mean it will if you weigh it down with 15 kilograms of sandbags but it doesn't quite feel safe so in this case you just have the bore head. I was a little disappointed by that so I will be trying to improve upon it and get it to work with the slider but that's something for a different video. On the other hand you could go for the more stable and in fact cheaper solution by only buying the Ambitful stand and this one doesn't come with that awesome little plate thing that the Godox has and I couldn't really find a name for it but I'm sure you're able to buy these things separately somewhere adding a cheap 15 euro microphone arm and you have yourself a really decent b-wall system which has tons of upgradability in the future so adding a slider, a better microphone arm, perhaps even some lights to turn it into a talking headshot thing and this is the one that I'll be using from now on but the size of that base is really quite massive and I'm not sure if I'm able to live with it so I will be improving upon the lower profile version to get it to work with the slider but that's something for a different video. But yeah, I've been using both these options for a little while now and in combination with the talking head desk setup and the 60x120 overhead rig, it's been great. Like the bar for entry creating YouTube videos is really low and I hope I can upload a little more now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment and hopefully see you in the next one.